The animating vision for Palomar Observatory was a new 200-inch telescope, and the animating visionary was George Ellery Hale. Hale is considered one of the founders of modern stellar astrophysics. He led the development of the world's largest telescope four separate times, the Yerkes 40-inch refractor, the 60-inch telescope, and 100-inch Hooker telescope at Mount Wilson, and completed after his passing the Palomar 200-inch telescope. Hale, Arthur Noyes, and Robert Millikan transformed Pasadena's Troop Institute into today's California Institute of Technology. His 1928 Harper's Magazine article, The Possibilities of Large Telescopes, advocated the building of the 200-inch telescope, leveraging the experience of creating Mount Wilson Observatory, and Hale secured the funding grant from the Rockefeller Foundation to build the 200-inch. Hale was also the premier solar observer of his time. Using solar telescopes on Mount Wilson and in his Pasadena home, and novel instrumentation of his own development, he discovered that sunspots were strongly magnetized and the solar magnetic cycle has a 22-year period. Hale died in 1938. Unfortunately, he didn't live to see the telescope and observatory that Palomar visitors see today. But the 200-inch was dedicated as the Hale Telescope in 1948, and for the next 45 years it was the most prominent telescope in observational astronomy. Today the Hale Telescope remains active every clear night, and at the forefront of astronomy research. Hale would be justifiably proud of the telescope's legacy, contributing to topics as near as solar system architecture and as grand as the large-scale structure of the universe, and everything in between. There have been two Hale busts in the dome vestibule since the 1940s. The present bust is one of two cast by sculptor Marianne Brackenridge. The other bust is at Caltech, and both were donated to the Institute by the Hale family in 1977.